Welcome to this lesson. So I uh, will be focusing on the gravitational potential energy of an object, which is the energy due to position in a gravitational field. So as you usually do it, when you find a question in physics, what you need to do firstly is to analyze the question. So we're going to first analyze the question. After analyzing, write down what's given. So you write what's given, the given information. So each question has information that's already given for you to use. So write down that information. Then after that, um, find out what you're asked to do. Find out the actual question. Okay, so find out what you actually need to do. Then you can write down the formula. If you will, you need to write a formula. So... That's basically what I usually do when I come across questions in physics. So, um, so for gravitational potential energy, we'll be using the formula um, EP, standing for gravitational potential energy, is equals to MGH. Okay, some textbooks can actually denote it as PE. It's up to you how you like to write it out or how your teacher usually explains it so here uh, m stands for our mass which is usually measured in uh, kilograms and then g stands for our gravitational acceleration which is always given for us as a constant 9.8 meters per second squared so this is something that you already know or you must know from now on it's usually given for you at the formula sheet, so you don't usually have to cram this number, but it's it's nice when you know it out of your head. Is the more you get used to physics, the more you'll get used to these kind of constants where you just have to stay at the back of your head to make things easy for you. Then uh, H stands for height. So this will be, this will be the height, and the the reference point will be the will be the ground since we're dealing with the gravitational energy it's 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 uh, due to gravity so we'll take the ground as our reference point which means every time we measure the height we'll have to start from the bottom like from the ground okay so that's basically what we need and um this gravitational potential energy is measured in joules so you already know physics you can't do any calculations without using the correct units so the units for energy is joules in this case okay let's look at the first example all right let's scratch this out it's a mistake it's a typo it's actually it's supposed to be like that okay so let's say a brick with a mass of one kilogram is lifted to the top of a four meter high roof it slips off the roof and falls to, to the ground. Calculate the gravitational potential energy of the brick at the top of the roof and on the ground once it falls, once it has fallen. So now, this question is in two parts. Firstly, we have to calculate at the top of the roof and also on the ground. Okay, so let's start at the top. So what we do at the top, Let's write down what we have at the top. We already know the mass of the brick, which is one kilogram. What else do we know? The height at the top, which is four meters, right? And we already know G is 9.8 meters per second squared. So we can simply calculate our uh, gravitational potential energy at the top, which will be EP equals to MGH, okay? Every time you do calculations, you must start with a formula. So that's what I will always do here. I will write down the formula, then I can substitute the information that is given, all right? So, um, our mass, we said it's 1 kilograms, and then our G is 9.8, and our height, is four meters so it's just a matter of putting this in your calculator and then I find that the nine comma two joules that is the gravitational potential energy at the top okay and then let's calculate at the bottom or on the ground 
on the ground so let's just try to draw a simple diagram to illustrate this so here's the top of the roof this roof is four meters high so at the bottom right the height is zero meters okay so you can already see that your gravitational potential energy at the ground will be zero so for for pete's sake we can just calculate ep is equals to mgh m is also one kilograms g is g will stay the same it's always 9.8 and the height is zero so everything multiplied by zero is zero joules so that is what you need to know in terms of gravitational potential energy at the top you get its maximum so ep is maximum but at the bottom at the bottom ep is minimum okay so it's when we go to kinetic energy there this is going to be the opposite okay with kinetic energy at the top it will be minimum and at the bottom it will be maximum we will do calculations to prove that but for now just hold on to that the gravitational potential energy at the bottom is minimum and at the top is maximum that's something that you need to know for now okay so in the next video i will do the second example